Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here, and today we are going to be talking about the 2K17, the NBA 2K17 player ratings, man. Uh, I think the ratings are kind of a big deal in my book, man, because in my opinion, not only are these just like the ratings of the players that we're going to be playing with in NBA 2K17, but also it kind of gives us the idea of who the uh, 2K head guys, you know, the people that really should be following basketball, who they think the best players in the NBA are at each position, and also players who are not rated that probably should be, or at least not rated very high. So, uh, first thing that, uh, you know, LeBron Harris will be pointing out is LeBron James is rated higher than Stephen Curry. Now, I will say, Stephen Curry did have a great historical NBA season. Um, I think his shooting stats should all be, like, you know, high 90s. Um, but from a talent standpoint, LeBron James, in my opinion, is the uh, best all-around player in the NBA. And I have no problem with him being a 96 and Stephen Curry being a 94. With that being said, though, I bet there's a lot of Stephen Curry fans... That think otherwise. Uh, you got Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, both at 93. So, of course, they were teammates last season and, you know, for the whole career. And then um, Kevin Durant went over. Th that shoot right there, man. Oh, my God. I just looked at it. The Golden State Warriors have four 90-plus players on their damn team. Dude, this team is going to be so much, like, it's not going to be no fun playing against them at all, like, whatsoever. If you use Golden State Warriors, you pee rass. I'm just going to say it. Um, but, yo, like, Russell Westbrook, uh, Kevin Durant, same rating. Yeah, I think, I think I'm think i okay with that. Um, Kawhi Leonard, also 93 overall. So, basically, um, do you guys think that Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant are the, exactly, like, do you think they're both equal players, or do you think one is better than the other and maybe deserves a little bit of a higher or lower rating? Um, we got Chris Paul, 91 overall. I'm okay with him being the second, being listed as the second best point guard in the league now. Um, I think Russell Westbrook, just from a talent standpoint, kind of took the reign of that. So I'm fine with that. Uh, Clay Thompson and James Harden both rated 90s. Um, I know that's the big thing right there is who's the better shooting guard. You know, personally, I do think Clay Thompson's a better two-way player, what he brings defensively and offensively. I know guys like Mike Corzemba have made videos about why James Harden is the most uh, underrated shooting guard um, in the NBA, or really, I think he said NBA history, maybe even. And I will say I did agree with some of the points he put in there also. Um, but really, I don't think I think both players are spectacular. And even from a video game standpoint, if you bust with any one of them players, you'd be good to go. Uh, Draymond Green, ninety overall. Um, do I see him as the best power forward in the league? I mean, do I see him as the same level as Anthony Davis at ninety overall? You know, I know Anthony Davis was injured last season, but that still doesn't take away from the player he is. Um, Draymond Green is a phenomenal player. Don't get me wrong. But uh, to put him in the same category as Anthony Davis, I think that's a little bit of a reach. I would have liked to see him more as maybe in the high 80s or even see Anthony Davis maybe a few rating points higher than Draymond Green if you want to put him at a 90. Uh, they got DeMarcus Cousins listed as the best center at 90 overall. Um once once again, you know, not from not from a wing standpoint, from uh, simply a basketball skill standpoint, um, I think that's fairly reasonable. I think Demarcus Cousins brings a lot to the table. Um, I do think Andre Drummond kind of got the shaft this year. I think he's rated like eighty six. I would like to see him like in the eighty nine range personally. Uh, Paul George, I believe that's a nine is a an eighty nine overall. Um, I could definitely see him going up to the nineties if he plays well this season. Kyrie Irving. Uh, same with him, you know, he's in the 80s, high 80s always, it seems like. Damian Lillard, this boy should be in the 90s, low 90 for sure. I'm guessing uh, maybe even right up there with Chris Paul with a 91. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, 88, that's been pretty consistent for the past few seasons, it seems like. Carl Anthony Towns, Rookie of the Year, um, 88 overall. You know, he's a great player. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, same with Jimmy Buckets. Uh, John Wall, um, honestly, I don't watch much of John Wall, so maybe he's a lot better than what I think he is. Uh, 88? Sure, why not? I have nothing against that. Uh, I really do want to see the other player ratings, though, because, yeah, all these players are great and everything. These are all superstars that you're going to end up using either way. Um, but I always get kind of curious what they do for the, um, like, role players and things along those lines. So, anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about these player ratings. I'm also curious to see uh, what kind of new legends are coming out this year, what their ratings looks like. You know, I'm sure Michael Jordan got to be a 99 overall. But, yeah, LeBron James, highest rated player above Stephen Curry. I'm okay with it. Not sure if you are. Anyway, give me all your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And peace out, my friends. Dick's out for Harambe. And yes, Boban is God.